The traps on this table represent the atoms in a piece of radium. Every so often one breaks down, all by itself, releasing a bit of energy. But radium is useless as a power source. There aren't enough atoms releasing their energy at the same time. The neutron is an ideal bullet. Since it is neutral, it isn't deflected by the electrical charge of the atoms and flies through them in a straight course. Finally, it struck a nucleus. The uranium nucleus split in two. Atomic fission had been accomplished. But this wasn't all that happened. Two neutrons were released from the split nucleus. One bullet was used to split the atom. And two new ones were created in the process. Now we have two neutrons to split two atoms. This implied a fabulous prospect, a nuclear chain reaction in uranium. Let's go back to our mousetrap atoms. We can create a chain reaction with them. We'll use our two ping pong balls for neutrons. They will be released when the atom splits. Now all these mousetraps are the atoms that will be in the game. They are set, loaded and ready to go. To start the chain reaction, all we need is one neutron. It has to trigger just one trap. The ping pong balls that are released will set off two other traps. And then we'll have four balls flying to trigger more traps. I think you can see what is going to happen. Watch. An atomic chain reaction works in exactly the same way. One neutron is enough to start it. was deeply shocked by the first atomic explosion. We all wondered if atomic energy had better remained a secret forever. Let me show you what I mean. Our mousetrap explosion can be slowed down with the aid of a slow motion camera 